It's very, very rare that dinner is ready in literally one minute. Like, seriously one minute. There's all sorts of claims that you'll hear on commercials about dinner ready in this amount of time. But like, there's like prep and stuff. No. This time, dinner is truly, actually, legit ready in one minute. And will it be enough food? Maybe not. Hello everyone, and welcome to Thursday. This is that uh, little packet of Indian food that we've done before. We really like them, but every time we've ever made it, we've made it with rice. However, we have so many tortillas. We have so many tortillas, and as a result, we thought it'd be kind of nice to make yeah, little uh, Indian burritos. Your mom uses this for uh, tacos because she doesn't eat meat. Yeah. So. And it's fine. It's valid. It's, it's valid. So we're gonna we're gonna just. I mean, these these microwave in a minute. And then we're just throwing them into tortillas, and we got some cheese. And will they be good? <laughs> probably. They probably won't be so bad. To the culture, maybe. Yeah, it's not 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 the most authentic Indian cuisine we've ever had, but it's fine. Oh, you want some of this too? Not for Kepi. It's not for Kepi, not buddy. For ke Your face is all wet. Under normal circumstances, we would have made rice, but again, we have a surplus of these tortillas because they come in a 1,000 pack at Costco and they're the same price as buying 12 at the store. So we've got a lot of them and um, I think it'll be pretty good. I mean, when you eat Indian food, a lot of time you have naan and what is naan <laughs> but, tortilla. but a tortilla? Might be stretching the definition a little bit. It's funny. Do you have to put that back in? I'm just gonna do a few seconds. Oh no, but what about a minute? What about... It's fine. It was it was really funny because when we were looking at it, we were like, I don't know if this is going to be enough food. And Mal's like, oh, I know what we could put in them. And I was like, oh, what's that? I She's... them on the side. Oh, I thought you were saying put in no, them. No, it's a side. On the side is also not great, but I thought she said in them. She was like, those beans. And I was like, oh yeah, they're like black beans or something that'd be really good. She goes, no, 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 no. The beans that you take to the picnic. I couldn't remember the name. And I was like... Picnic beans? You mean baked beans? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, I don't know that baked beans gonna go so good together with our Indian burritos, Mel. And she's like, yeah, but we have a few cans of them. So, uh, coincidentally, I don't, I really don't think that black beans would be that bad of an inclusion, but we don't have any cans of black beans. And I couldn't bring myself to put a, a can of baked beans either in or beside our Indian burritos. So um, we're just gonna eat this for now. And uh, you know, if we need some more food, that's fine. We have some snack stuff, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. Well, I have to admit that this was never exactly a planned meal, but again, I don't think it really looks that bad. What do you think, Mal? It was a choice. I'm sure it would be better with like lettuce or something. Okay, I, I can already tell this is gonna be a little strange. Okay, you know, you know, chickpeas are not normally something you put in a burrito, but like, it's not the worst thing, you know? Like it's not, it's just strange. It doesn't taste bad. It's just, it's just a bit odd. It's been a minute, so we're doing uh, another of the Kit Kat challenge. This time, as Mal opens, oh, it's just one big bar, huh? This is uh, Mint Duo. Mint Duo, which I assume is, well, mint and then not mint. So, like normal Kit Kat. So, it's quite literally like a two part Kit Kat. This tastes exactly like something. Do you know what it is? Um, anything that's mint and chocolate? I mean, you're not wrong, but very, something very specific. No. Andy's mint. Like an Andy's? Mm -hmm. Like the Andy's mint that they give you at like the Olive Garden? Mm -hmm. Exactly like that. They're I presume, good. I presume this is just the normal, is a normal Kit Kat. It had a mint taste. Yeah. Like mint, I thought. But maybe I was just smelling all the other mint. I don't know. They were good. Now I'm not sure. <laughs> Crap. 
I don't know. Well, there's more that you can try later and find out. Those are really good. Yeah, they are. Those are really good. Because, like, I wouldn't feel right sitting around eating a bag of Andy's mints. <laughs> but a whole giant bar of Kit Kats is okay? But the sleeve of Kit Kats, I would do. Those are really good. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Obviously, not everyone likes mint. You have to like mint. But if you've ever if you've ever had an Andes mint and you're like, that was cool and refreshing, and I like that, that's exactly what that tastes like. Yum. Anyway, all right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, it's me back tomorrow. Shamway.